I'm gonna keep trying to get lucky. Uh, don't tell my girlfriend I said that. What's up, YouTubers? How's it going? I'm Steve Mathis. I'm coming at you today from the forest here in Wyoming. It's glorious. It's uh, officially spring. It's uh, it's 65 degrees right now. It says, I don't know that we've had, we've had maybe one day in the 70s so far this spring. It's the end of May. So it feels great to be out in some reasonably nice weather. It's partly cloudy up there. And beautiful. And I'm strolling along leisurely today uh, for two reasons. <laughs> First one being I'm my body's a little bit uh, tired, worked, exhausted, beat up from uh, some a long hike and a long day I had yesterday. So yesterday I was out with Mark Smith, a uh, fellow YouTuber, and uh, he came out to the Tetons doing a drive through and we went out and looked for owls and uh, with Isaac. Uh, from Isaac Isaac Spots from Isaac's Picks on Instagram, and he also has a YouTube channel. Mark Smith, of course, has a, a YouTube channel as well. His is a lot bigger than mine. So hopefully you're following those guys. If you aren't, go check them out. And if you like what you see, give them a follow. Uh, but anyway, I had a long day yesterday. I went out, um, I had a workshop in the morning. So that got started at about 4.30 in the morning. I got going and then um, once the workshop was over, I went for a hike to look for an owl nest in a territory that I know they've nested before. I did not find anything there, but I hiked a few miles, kind of bushwhacking through the forest. And that's always kind of exhausting with camera gear and bushwhacking. And then I met those guys uh, at like two in the afternoon, no, three, three in the afternoon. And then we hiked a bunch more and we actually found an owl, which was awesome, way back in the woods. Uh, but we found it and uh, made a couple of photos and had a great time. And uh, I, all in all, that, that entire day, I probably hiked 11-ish miles, maybe 12. And uh, a lot of it was bushwhacking and just, uh, you know, getting up that early and a lot of walking and it's early season, so I'm not in hiking shape yet. So that was a long day. But so now I'm feeling the, the pain today a little bit. So I'm just moving slow here. So that's the main reason I'm moving slow. Reason number two I'm moving slow is because I'm looking for another owl nest here. So uh, I'm in, I'm like 20 miles away from where we were the other day. And uh, I'm looking for another owl nest. So this is a known territory of an owl that uh, three, three years ago, um, their nest blew over during a storm. So uh, I'm hopeful that they have kind of kept this as being their territory and maybe they've found a new suitable nest here. So there, we do have more nesting owls this year than we have in the last two years, which is awesome. And uh, so I came out here and I'm just going to kind of hunt around and just cruise around in the forest, look for owls, look for potential nest sites and scope those out and uh, just see if I can get lucky because you kind of just got to get lucky out here to find a great gray owl nest. And uh, I'm not going to get lucky sitting in front of the computer or in my car. So I'm out here cruising around and I'm walking slowly so I can really observe what's going on, take my time, listen, look. And uh, also it's so quiet and so beautiful out and it just smells great. It's springtime. There's like just little, little patches of snow left in the forest you know, like this. So everything's still kind of um, moist and green and lovely. And so I'm just enjoying myself, just taking my time, strolling along slowly, letting my body kind of take it easy. And it's great. Um, you know, when you're walking around out in the woods and it's quiet and lovely and uh, it kind of, you know, you kind of tune out a little bit and that's good. That's good for us humans. It's good for our brains and uh, kind of makes us, lets the mind wander a little bit. And that's what mine's been doing. Mine's been wandering. But uh, having some time to kind of just think like that is really good for us. And um, I was thinking about one thing I wanted to mention here and talk about on camera. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to 
all of my workshop participants uh, this spring. So I've had a busy workshop season and uh, it's been really good uh, photography wise and uh, professionally wise and just in so many ways meeting lots of great people from all over the world. Um, had people from all over the place um, from the south and the midwest and the west coast and uh, from nearby regionally here from as far away as Australia and uh, most of most of my participants were uh, people who watched the YouTube channel so I'm very grateful for all of that for YouTube and for all of you guys who are watching the channel and supporting me and, and believing in me to offer you a good experience out here and uh, believing me to help you get better as photographers so it's been uh, it's been really really cool spring so far it's nice to have a little bit of time here to get out in the woods by myself that's always really good for my soul too but uh, I, I just really am grateful for um, such a great spring workshop season and, and all the great people I met and all the great photos we all got to make together out there so uh, thank you to all of you guys who have signed up for workshops and um, I'm going to continue to keep trying to get better and better and uh, offer you guys a better and better experience. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, now back to the regularly scheduled rambling about being in the woods and photography stuff. So uh, I'll check back in with you hopefully when I find an owl here in a little bit. All right. Let's keep keep the eyes open and keep the mind wandering too. It's kind of good for me. Yeah, there's got to be an owl out there somewhere, right? He could be sitting right here above me. They're just so hard to see, but there's just a million places an owl could be out here. And uh, I can pretty much guarantee there's one, one out here somewhere in the, the couple of miles that I've walked. I probably walked right past one, but uh, you just got to get lucky. So I'm going to keep trying to get lucky. Uh, don't tell my girlfriend I said that. Uh, check. Check this out. As I'm wandering through the woods here, uh, I, I knew I knew I was getting close to just kind of in the, in the general vicinity of where that old owl nest was that blew over a couple of years ago. Uh, and I could just kind of feel it like, I was like, oh yeah, I kind of recognize this. Because I had uh, spent a little bit of time at this owl nest photographing uh, them. They had one chick the year that uh, I watched them photograph. But as I'm cruising along here, I'm, I just started getting the feeling like, God, I think I'm close. So I started just kind of looking around at all the deadfall over here. And I spotted this, this big dead trunk right here. And I was like, I think that's the old nest tree laying on the ground right here. And uh, I was in here, like I said, a couple years ago and saw that it, two years ago, and saw that it had fallen down, which totally bummed me out. But uh, I'm like almost certain, this, yeah, this is, this is it. Yeah, yeah, here, this is it. So this, this tree, this big giant old tree here, right up there was the top. And that's where the, uh, the nest was. So I, I remember, see this the smaller log right here? So this smaller log was uh, a feature in the nest, uh, kind of next to the big tree, and it was leaned up against it and uh, kind of made a, a nice little feature in the photograph. But uh, yeah, this is definitely it. So check this out. This, this top broken off snag part here. Um, obviously looks a lot different than it would have to the owls. But there must have been just enough of a platform in here, uh, kind of a, a flat spot in here, because this is all rotted out. So there must have been like a, a little flat spot in here where the uh, the owls had a little platform to raise their to raise their young. Might, maybe even, you know, quite a ways down there. Uh, it's hard to say how far down there they actually had a platform to nest on. But this was it. Um, I'll show you. I'll dig out. I'll go through my archives and dig out a picture of what this looked like with the, the mama owl and the chick standing in the nest. And it was shot from back that direction, looking up this way with this smaller kind of broken log out here. Um, that one out there kind of sticking up next to 
this big chunk where the where the owls were hanging out. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'd, I'd love to find like some old feather or something, but it's been a couple of years, you know, a couple of winters. And uh, so a lot of this stuff has gotten pretty, pretty rotten and nasty. But uh, yep, 100%, this was definitely the old owl nest. Pretty cool. Uh, I hope you think that's pretty cool because I think it's pretty cool, but we all have different versions of what we think are cool. And uh, as I think we're all well aware, I'm a bit of a weirdo, but that's it. An old owl nest that unfortunately fell to the ground. So uh, I'd love to find these owls again and watch them raise some more youngsters. So check this out. This is a lodgepole pine forest. Uh, this kind of forest, I think, has some really, really great potential for excellent photos uh, of owls in here. If they, see how they're kind of open? Like all these, the lodgepole pines are uh, like a constant width from top or from the bottom all the way to the top. And then all the uh, the pine needles and the growth is happening up near the top. So the lower part of the forest, you get this awesome kind of very uniform, uh, you know, trunks out here. And uh, beautiful light kind of streaking through. And um, obviously I want to find an owl in here because <laughs> It can just make some really cool opportunities and beautiful compositions with all these vertical trunks. And then like an owl kind of breaking up the pattern. You know, anytime you can find a pattern, then with, uh, with a wild animal breaking up that pattern, it's almost always gonna be a really nice photo. So uh, you can, you, there's good sight lines in here. So if there was an owl in here, I'd have a reasonably good chance of seeing him compared to some of that dark, dense growth forest that I was in before where you can only see, you know, a little ways at a time. Like I can see out here 50 yards through the forest. So I would love, love, love to find an owl in here. Uh, if I don't, I'm, I'm gonna pop up here on the screen here in just a second, some photos that I've taken in this type of forest before to kind of show you what I mean with the, with the beautiful trunks and then uh, the owl kind of breaking up the pattern of the forest. They can just be spectacular. So uh, I'm gonna wander around here and look extra hard just in the chance that there's an owl in here. It could be really excellent photography. So uh, anyway, if I don't find an owl tonight, later, right now, I'm gonna show you some pictures uh, that are similar to what I would love to see happen in here tonight that show that kind of pattern breaking up. So cut to that right about now. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's the spoiler. Whoa, that fell off the log. Uh, that's the spoiler. Since you saw those photos, that means I didn't find an owl tonight, unfortunately. But thank you all for uh, for playing along and watching anyways. Watching as I uh, wander the woods and let the let the thoughts come and go in my head. So this is going to be it. Um, glorious day here in the Tetons, no owls, but everything else about it was pretty damn great. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of crazy thoughts run through your head while you're out wandering the woods. I'm curious to see what kind of weirdos like me are out there watching my videos. So, uh, 
that's it. I'll see you on the next uh, the next episode. I promise I won't put out another vlog again for a little while where I don't actually make any photos. I hope this isn't turning into a pattern. Uh, all right. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Sorry. One last thing before I go. Uh, anybody want to go to Africa? Uh, I am co-leading a workshop in Africa in February of 2020. And it's going to be fantastic. Uh, more details, visit my website, links below. Um, it's going to be a great trip. Going with Sue Cedarholm, who is an excellent tour leader. She has uh, organized and led this trip seven times already. So she's like totally dialed in with uh, the guides and the lodging and uh, everything. She's, she's done it all. A bunch of times so she's got all that totally dialed in and uh, we're gonna go and have an absolute blast we're gonna visit five different parks and uh, we're gonna make some amazing images and just have a trip of a lifetime so uh, I could not be more excited about the trip um, I couldn't be more excited to share it with ten other people uh, hopefully some of you and um, it's just, it's going to be one of those things that's just going to be uh, something you'll cherish. I know I'm going to cherish it for the rest of my life. And uh, it's going to be uh, a wonderful trip. So if you're interested in doing that, check out my website, the link below here. Get in touch with me via email or telephone. You can find that stuff on my website as well. And uh, check it out. It's uh, If that's something you've been wanting to do or you've done it before and want to go... Uh, with us. It's going to be fantastic. So uh, thanks for listening to the, my little sales pitch here at the end. I want to let everybody know about it and hopefully uh, I can get uh, some of my subscribers here to join me on the trip for it. So uh, this now is officially the end of the video. All right. See you next time. Bye.